I still say the stage is no place for a young lady. I'm auditioning for a TV show, Gabe, not a play. Lady Justice, a feisty female lawyer who always gets her man. A female lawyer? What piffle? <laughs> Sorry. I'm really gonna miss you. Promise to write every day. I'm only going to Belfast. I'll be back on Thursday. Nevertheless, my afterlife shall seem empty and meaningless without you. I don't know what I'll do. Write me a poem. A poem? Gadzooks! What a splendid idea! I shall start immediately. My heart is empty without you near. Something, something, something dear. Clear. Fear. Bye then. I'll miss you too. Still here? Just waiting for a cab. Um, are you sure you're going to be all right on your own? Of course. Unless this place is haunted. <laughs> oh, all right, Lady Justice. Just promise me you won't come up with any more stupid ideas. We still haven't finished replastering from the last one. Relax, Danny. The castle is in safe hands. <laughs> I meant to do that. Cab's here. I mean it, Jimmy. No indoor golf courses, no inflatable sumo wrestling, and no ball pit. A ball pit? That's a great idea. What could possibly go wrong with that? Jerema! Hmm, <laughs> maybe not. That's it. I'm staying here. There is no way I can leave you on your own. I'm not going to do anything stupid. You promise? I promise. Now go, have fun, and I'll see you when you get back. I love Jimmy, but sometimes it's like having a toddler. And that's why you need a babysitter. Enter Scary Poppins. <laughs> Who? Me. Oh, I've babysat every kid in Bogmore. Compared to them, Jimmy's smile fry. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. That would be a massive help. It's gonna cost you a tenner, though. What? All right, £7.50. Mates rates. Make it a fiver. Done. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Were I a little bird, I'd fly to thee. <laughs> Alas, I'm not. My lady has left me. When is she coming back? Who? Danny, your memes. Oh, right. Tuesday? Thursday? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm counting down the hours to your return. Seeing you again is my only concern. <laughs> oh, a friend request. Lottie? Here's Lottie. Only the most popular girl in all of Bogmore. Well, was. I haven't seen her since we were alive. Good thing too. She was a bad influence. Just because she was the ringleader of a notorious gang of troublemakers does not mean she was a bad influence. Pa! They could up to all sorts of mischief. Humming in church. Bunking off dance lessons to go apple scrumping. <gasps> Somebody call the police. Apple scrumpers on the loose. <laughs> Only the most beautiful and well-to-do girls could join her gang. Wait, and you were in it. Of course. Well, maybe not exactly in it. Esme was desperate to be part of the group, but they never let her in. Thank you, Gabe. I've had 250 years to get over it. Not like it's been eating me up all this time. <laughs> Clearly. But all that's about to change. I knew Lottie would see the potential in me. Only took her a bit longer than I expected. What's quarter of a millennium between friends? Huh? Don't you have a poem you should be writing? My sister is foolish. She thinks she knows best. This girl she admires, I loathe and detest. <laughs> you following me? No, 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 no. Um, I am looking for a book on... Um, 16th century Polish salt mines. Well, now you've got it. Yeah. Off you go then. <laughs> You're spying on me. A minute. Okay, okay, but only because I promised Danny I'd keep you out of trouble. Nice to know my so-called friends, trust me. Well, give us one reason why we should. Because I made a promise to look after this place. <sighs> I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'll leave you alone. What was that? A fly, yeah. Um, I got it. No. On the front of the paper, there was something about the castle. What was there? A new type of telecommunications dish is to be trialled in Bogmore. The 20 metre dish will be erected to the south side of the village, totally obscuring the historic views. This is a disgrace. It's outrageous. 
Oh, um, brilliant. What? Think about it. Mobile reception, high-speed internet, high def TV. You. You're behind all this. Uh, uh, no, no, now calm down. You probably shouldn't do anything stupid. Uh, do you know how much you're going to pay me? There's nothing stupid about that. I don't care. It's going to break the views. Only from outside the castle, you won't even see it from the inside. Even for you, this is ridiculous. It's never going to happen, Jimmy. I'm not going to let it. This is none of your business. This is my castle, and it's my decision. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see what Danny thinks of all this little plan. Why can't I never get reception in here? Maybe because there's no dish. And as long as I live in Bogmore, that's the way it's going to stay. Hey, it's me. Do you want to see my magic trick? Pulling a rabbit from a hat? Ta-da! Huh? Anyone finds a rabbit, it's mine. Mommy! Lord, he's calling! Well, aren't you going to answer? I don't know. Maybe. Have to think about it. Just answer. Lottie! <gasps> Esme! Lottie! No! You're dead! Isn't it a scream? I can't believe we can actually fly and possess people. You can do that? Can't you? Oh, sorry. Guess I got lucky. So, how have you been? Not still living in that dingy old castle, are you? Eh. Uh... I just scared off my 200th family. Had a big party to celebrate. Loads of friends, so... Wow! Congratulations! There's this new private group I've set up on Ghostly Book, the Spectral Sisterhood. All very exclusive. So, I was wondering, do you want to join? Me? I'd love to! Popsy, hey girl! A human? Lottie? Lottie? Where's she gone? I don't know. Maybe you scared her? Isn't she supposed to do that to me? Oddie! 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 Five, six, seven, eight. Save our dear for it, do we? One, two, three, four. We don't want your eyes, sir. Five, six, seven, eight. Save our dear for it, do we? You've got too many syllables. Shut up. <laughs> This your castle? Yep, all mine. Well, then I just need you to sign here and here. Sounds like the locals are revolting. Yep, looks like it too. Hi, Kate. Every resident of Bogmore has signed this petition. Not one person wants the dish. 38 signatures, wow! I don't think cows count. I demand you cease construction immediately. Ignore her. This is my castle and my land. Right, Toby! Reasoning with you hasn't worked, and peaceful protest has had no effect. So, things have just got serious. If you want to put up that dish, you'll have to go through me. Suit yourself, but uh, we're not bringing it through there. Have fun. I'm going to the shovel museum. You want to come? Oh, sorry, you can't. Hey, see you in a bit. Leo! Leo! Like a beacon of love. <laughs> like a beacon of... <laughs> Shut up! Thank you. The giant dish. That connects us all, like a beacon of love. Oh, why won't you call? Testing, testing. Yep, we've got full connection. OK, we'll move on to the next place. <laughs> that was weird. He's your friend. Yeah, I've got loads of human friends. Ghosts and humans cannot consort. I know, but these ones are different. Why? Are they vampires? What? No. Vampires don't exist. What kind of ghost can't even haunt her own castle? I can. Prove it. Get ready for human friends, or kiss goodbye to the spectral sisterhood. You have one day to make up your mind. Choose wisely. Who 
Then I thought shovels would be so exciting. Jimmy, before you go any further, I think there's something you need to know. I know a lot of things. For example, do you know the difference between a shovel and a spade? Um, no, but I'm sure it's really interesting. Spades are used for digging and piercing, whereas shovels are used for... Hang on. Where's the dish? It's supposed to be right there. OK, before I tell you, are you carrying any sharp objects? It was supposed to be around the other side. Wrong way up, mate. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Is that thing covering Danny's bedroom window? What? <laughs> ah! That dish totally covers the window. She's going to go ballistic when she sees that thing. I'm sure she'll come around when she sees the advantages. There are advantages. Best reception in the castle. Plus, it's got rid of that nasty draft. Oh, right. Well, that's OK, then. Yeah. I'm pleased. It, it makes you feel a lot more... Claustrophobic? Cosy. Mm. It's had a lot more... Gloom? Atmosphere. She's going to love it. No, she's not. This is actually great. I can play games, send texts, download music. Something wrong? Say if there was a group that you really wanted to join. Yep, the magic circle. OK, say if you had to choose between the magic circle and your best friends, what would you choose? That's easy, I'd choose you. Really? Yeah, of course, no contest. You're my best mate. Oh, Leo, that really means a lot to me. What's this all about anyway? Lottie gave me a choice. I can't join the spectral sisterhood unless I dump my human friends. And you have to think about that. I know, sorry. Humans have never done anything to harm me. I don't know why I... Guess me, you all right? On spicy pepperoni, on mega mega extra onions, and no evil little fish this time. What was that? I don't know. I suddenly felt. Seriously? She dumped him for some pinball with like big time and really bad hair extensions? Never had the luck. Something very strange is happening. I keep seeing furious looking birds being catapulted towards precariously balanced structures. Towards pigs. <gasps> what is it? I've got an idea, but I hope I'm wrong. At the third stroke, the time spotted by Kitty Lads with Kate Me. Will be. I wasn't wrong. It's that dish. I think you're picking up mobile phone signals. Oh, hold on. Hello? This is an important message. Have you ever had an accident at work? If so, you could be entitled to thousands of pounds in compensation. Go away! Go away! We need to talk to Jimmy. Guys, this is awesome! Five gigabyte broadband, 4G mobile reception, that dish is on fire! It might well be if you don't take it down! Gabe has been picking up interference from the dish. Don't be ridiculous. It's true. Call your aunt's phone. You have two new messages. To listen to your messages, press one. Very funny. Do you think I'm stupid? Well, press one. Hey, mate, it's Luke. I was just eating a banana and suddenly thought, could fruit feel pain, huh? Exactly. Danny's going to kill me. Death will only bring you closer to me. Right now, you don't want that to happen. Hello? Hi, Jimmy. You all right? It's Danny. What are we going to do? Why? Of course. Jimmy, you all right? <laughs> hey, cuz. Um, I'm just chilling with Leo. Um, no massive dish, Esther. I mean disaster. How's life in the big city? Honestly, I can't wait to come home. No! <laughs> wait! Uh, uh, so when do you think you'll be coming back? Danny? Um, tomorrow. I've, I've got to go. No, wait, you can't... I insist you get rid of that dish immediately. OK, OK. Just let me think. Leo, you got any suggestions? <gasps> I will now make that dish disappear. <laughs> Zambini! <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> so, due to all the protests, I'm afraid you're going to have to move that enormous dish off the side of my castle. Oh, no, it's great, isn't it? All right, laters. What do you mean, what protests? Didn't you get the petition? Phone reception makes life so much easier. What? Something wrong? Yes, something's wrong. That dish! 
Why? It's completely wrecked the view from Danny's window. Can't even see it in the village. But the protest, the, the petition. Oh, I threw that away. Everyone in Bogmore is loving it. I even saw old Mrs Flanagan downloading apps on her smartphone. And she's 82. You're supposed to be babysitting me. How could you let this happen? You reap what you sow, city boy. Besides, think of the tourism. The Eiffel Tower, the London Eye, and the Bogmore dish. The dish can bog more off. It's my decision, and I say it's going. It's staying. What are you going to do? Chain yourself to the side of it? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> this is war. I need to work on that. Esme! Esme? What are you doing? I'm trying to avoid the wave things. Jimmy's talking to the telecom company and he's promised that that dish should be gone by tomorrow. It better be. Well, our friendship is deader than me. I am trying to help, which is why I have this. This should protect you from any interference. Whoa! <laughs> no. I'm not wearing that. I look like an idiot. No, you won't. Gabe! Show her. <laughs> See? I think that proves my point. <laughs> oh, my song downloaded. <laughs> What's today? Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, uh, they're not. What? I signed a contract. There's nothing I can do about it. You mean I'm stuck just like this for all of eternity? You never learn about 50 years, you may be in fashion. Oh, that's it. You had enough chances. Lottie's right. Ghosts and humans just can't mix. Our friendship is terminated. Nice one, mate. I just wanted an easy life. At least you're on my side. Sorry, Jimmy. Not this time. <laughs> Conflict in the castle. Everyone's sure they're right. It looks as if we're heading for one great big massive fight. Please, Esme, I'm sure we can work something out. Oh, this isn't fair. You can't blame me for Jimmy's mistakes. Sorry, Gabe, did you say something? Why do I bother? Actually, I know why I bother. It's because you're my friend, and that's what friends do. Don't you think you're being a bit hard on him? Look what they've done to us. We're meant to be terrifying ghosts. Not clowns. And Lottie opened my eyes. She's a true friend. Lottie isn't your friend. Uh, yes, she is. It says so right there. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. A friend is someone like Leo. Someone who tries to help when you're in trouble. The only thing Lottie has ever done for you is tell you what you can and can't do. I expected you to take sides with the humans, since you're in love with one. And you're my sister. Lottie wasn't your friend when you were alive, and now she's suddenly calling you and asking you to join her stupid group. Why? Why wouldn't she? Perhaps you should ask her. They might like a cup of tea. Thanks. I need your help. Tough. I don't think you realise how much trouble we're going to be in when Danny gets back. Both of us. Too bad. I like the improved Wi-Fi. You got yourself into this mess. You can sort it out. I think it's a bit late for that. Why? <laughs> Surprise! I've tried, but they won't remove it. You have done some pretty stupid things in your time, Jimmy. But this one really does take the biscuit. Told you so. And you? You were supposed to be looking after him. I was. I tried to stop him. Liar, you wanted to keep it. Look, I don't care who's to blame. I just want to get rid of it. It's right outside my bedroom window. Danny! <laughs> Welcome. I finished your poem. <laughs> Not the right time. How was your audition? Oh, don't ask. I learned all those lines for nothing. 
Turned out I wasn't up for the part of feisty female lawyer. I was auditioning for teenage trespasser number two, a non-speaking part. I didn't even get that. Why not? I talk too much. <laughs> <clears throat> so, are you rid of the humans? Not yet. I have a question I want to ask you. We were good friends, weren't we? The best. And we always did things together? Always. Like the time when I fell off Dobbin and my leg was in a bandage for a week. I felt terrible for you. No, you didn't. Because I just made that up. It never happened. So? I forgot. What's this about? That's what I want to know. Why, after all these years, do you get in touch with me now? What do you want? <laughs> I have to go. Uh, all... All my other friends are trying to call me. Great! I'd love to speak to them. Put them on. <laughs> I don't have any other friends. All right, love. Is your dad in? My dad? Don't patronise me. Oh, and don't call me love. It's just a bit technical, that's all. Not sure you'd understand. <sighs> what do you want? We've been getting complaints about interference. People keep hearing some kind of weird musical poetry recitals during the phone calls. So we're going to have to make a few arrangements. Shouldn't take long. Now, listen here. This is my castle too, and you can speak to me. And I want that dish removed right now. <laughs> that dish isn't going anywhere. We've got a contract. See? So you better get used to it. Because there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it. Love. Are you going to let him speak to you like that? No. Nope. Um, excuse me. I think you're forgetting one thing. Section 2, subsection 4 of the Law of Property Act 1925 clearly states that any contract must be signed by all the proprietors of the registered freehold. You are? This is my castle too and I haven't signed. Oh, yeah. You're right. I am. I mean, I am. OK, boys. Let's take it down. And don't call me love. That, that was brilliant. You were amazing. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Don't suppose you could help me get off some library fines? Don't push it. <laughs> Lottie made it all up. Yep. Turns out she had a massive row of her friends over a century ago and hasn't spoken to them or anyone since. But why would she try to turn you against humans? Jealousy. Lottie lives in a giant castle all on her own. Whenever anyone moves in there, she tries to become friends, but they just end up running away. It made me realise how lucky I was to have you guys. Even though you can be a little pain sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. Mm, it's OK. Hey, but well, at least the dish is gone. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Any more interferences and I would have taxi from Bogmore High Street to the station? <laughs> My name's Danny. <laughs> yep, I'm leaving for the city and never coming back. Catholics! I must stop her immediately! <laughs> <laughs> that was evil. Footy? So evil. <laughs> And thus I sing to thee so sweetly. Danny, you alone complete me. Oh, thank goodness it's over. That was beautiful, Gabe. I should go away more often. No, please. For all our sakes. <laughs>